Alright, next job I'm going to do on the MGC is uh, I'm going to check the um, right in here in the manual um, I'm going to adjust the uh, valve rockers so I'm going to perform the valve rocker adjustment procedure here um, that's in the in the manual um, also going to at, while I'm at it I'm going to check the com compression uh, for each of the cylinders and so first step is to get this car set up um, some tools you're going to need you're going to need a feeler gauge these are cheap you can buy them on Amazon um, I'm going to remove the spark plug spark plugs to allow the engine to be able to turn over uh, without having um, uh, to worry about the compression um, stopping the engine from turning over and you just need some some basic screwdrivers flathead and a, a pretty uh, big uh, Phillips head which will uh, you'll take the rocker cover off with Okay, so in the engine bay, first thing I've done is I've removed all the uh, spark plug leads from the spark plugs, and I'm gonna use my spark plug socket here to release all of the uh, spark plugs. You don't have to necessarily take them out, it's a good time to check the spark plugs. Um, that aren't, they aren't fouling or anything, so you can just just remove them all. But um, if you want to, just you can just loosen them up so that the air can escape past the um, spark plug threads. Then that's that should be good enough to be able to turn the engine over. Um, but while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check the spark plugs for fouling and to make sure they're all wearing evenly so I'm going to go ahead and do that so I'm going to remove each of the spark plugs and then I'll, I'll show you the next step okay now I've got the spark plugs removed <clears throat> now next thing I want to do is move some of these hoses out of the way so I'm going to take off this uh, heater hose uh, uh, a breather hose right here and then also this air air hose right here so that I can uh, remove the rocker cover. I'm also going to remove this uh, the cable here it goes to the throttle and I'm going to just uh, remove the nut on top of the uh, pedal box so I can move that out of the way. Uh, you don't necessarily have to remove this, it has enough slack to be able to get the rocker cover off but I'm just going to get it out of the way so that it's it's not impeding any of the movement. Okay, so you just take your flathead screwdriver and loosen up these two hose clamps. Very easy. And then a little wiggle, maybe twist, and pull them right off. Simple. Okay. The same thing with this one. If it hasn't been off in a while, it might be a little tricky. But usually, if you give it a little, a little twist, there you go. It breaks, breaks it loose, and then you can pull it right off. I'm just gonna remove this clamp, set it aside, so I don't have it scratching. And then this nut right here. Okay, and this is a 7 16 on top of the pedal box here. Take that off, set it aside. I'm just going to move that out of the way. 
Alright, now the next part is just to remove all the screws from the top. So you can remove the rock rocket cover. Like I said, you want a real nice big um, screwdriver that fits these bolts. You don't want to strip them. They shouldn't be on that incredibly tight just because the rocker cover doesn't hold any oil or it doesn't, um, it's not oil pressurized inside the rocker cover obviously. So it shouldn't be overly difficult to remove these. Like I said, you got a nice big sc screwdriver that fits in, so you have nice engagement. This is little metal. washers underneath each of the screws so watch those you don't lose those down inside the engine compartment and then also before I go ahead and, and crack this off um, of the head I'm gonna clean all around here I don't want any type of debris falling in into uh, into the engine Okay, now I have all the screws removed. I'm just gonna make sure I clean off the area good. And any any debris that might be, especially around where the screws were, you'll have uh, a little gunk. Okay, now you just have to pop the rocker cover off. It might, it might be, you might have to give it a couple bangs. Um, it might be kind of stuck on there, but uh, you should just pull off. There we go. Okay, once you have the rocker cover removed. The next thing is to uh, go through and actually check all the, the valves. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is show you what, uh, explain the process first before I go ahead and do it. Now, in the manual, it tells you, uh, so you remove the rock, rocker cover, we've done that, that's the first step. Uh, check the clearance between the rocker arm and the valve stem. Uh, to this tolerance uh, and when the engine is cold it says so it's 0 0.015 inches or 0.38 millimeter and now it tells you which valve to check um, when another condition is met so you check the number one valve with the number 12 fully open and actually um, there should be two fully closed um, any time uh, you should be able to check two of them at any given time so what I'm going to do is go through and and show you each of the uh, how how each of them looks when it's closed and then uh, show you which one to check as you're going through that but uh, you can always refer back to the manual here uh, and t it tells you which one to check and then which other one should be fully open okay so what we're gonna do to actually adjust them is there's a nut here and then a screw a uh, flathead screw screw end so you're gonna have to release the the nut uh, and then use the screw head to actually adjust the clearance 
Now, in order to get certain valves to be open or closed, you need to turn the engine over. So there's a couple ways you can do that. Um, you can do it with the electric starter, uh, which in, in order to do that, there's some short circuiting you can do, or you can just use the key. If the car is, um, uh, the spark plugs are out, obviously the car is not going to start. It will turn over though with the starter. Uh, some people have said you can use a 7 8 inch uh, ratchet in order to turn the uh, starter, or not the starter, but the uh, alternator uh, nut on the front of the alternator. And if you turn that, then it'll turn the belt, obviously, in which will turn the engine. Um, what I'm going to do, and what I found is easiest, is just uh, put the key car into fourth gear. If you have a long enough flat surface, you can just use the front wheel and rotate the uh, the wheel, and obviously that'll move the car forward. Which, since the drive line is engaged, since it's in gear it will turn the motor over. So I'll show you how uh, what that looks like here in a second. Okay, so I got a close up here of the front of the engine. And what I'm gonna do here in order to uh, get the valves to open and close is just run the car. And you can see as I move the vehicle forward, the valves, I'll move it back. You can see these front two. Keep an eye on, on number one and number three. You can see them move as I move the car back and forward. That way you can get them to be fully, fully open. When they're fully open, this, the rocker arm is compressed this spring all the way so that that will fully open that number three so I'm gonna do right now is get it so that number three right here uh, am I pointing at it right there and the number three as it as I push the car back it'll it'll compress down and you'll see that that one gets to a bottom it bottoms out at some point and that's where it's fully compressed and that valve is fully open. So there's number three going down and there it's hits bottom. So that number three is fully open right now. And so I'll go back to my manual. I'll go back to the manual and reference the chart here says uh, look at the number three fully open here and you go check number ten Oop, let me get that in the shot number three fully open and you check number ten so I'm going to go here is over here and scooch by the camera one, two, three, fully open. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm back here on number 10, 11, 12, and I got my 0.38 millimeter, and that just fits through with a little bit of rubbing. Um, it could possibly be a just a touch tighter. So what I'm going to do is show you how I adjust that one. All right, so I'm back here in number ten. I got my half inch wrench that fits on there. You just release the tension. Or this, this loosen this nut here, and then you use your screwdriver in order to uh, adjust the actual uh, clearance. 
So you to clockwise decreases and anti-clockwise increases the clearance. So I want to decrease the clearance. So I'm going to go clockwise to decrease the clearance. And you can see it as you're screwing this down, that's actually screwing uh, this in and it hits on the top of the rod and it pushes this lever down and decreases the clearance. So what I'm going to do is use my feeler gauge here. Now I've decreased it too much. Just back that off a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit of tension. And just a little bit of tension there on that. And so I can hold this in that spot with the screwdriver and tighten down the nut. so that it has precisely the right amount of tension. There we go. There we go. And now that fits in there just perfectly. And that one is adjusted, so number 10 is adjusted. So you can go through, obviously, uh, moving the car backward and forward in order to go through the rest of the valves. Now I'm not going to show you all of them, obviously, but that's the, the method which you do it. And so I'm going to go ahead and adjust all the rest of them. Okay, I'm on the last set, so... Um, we're looking at the aft of the engine. Um, you can see valves. Let's see. Over here we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're working on number eleven uh, because number two is fully open. So you got number two, which might be out of this a shot, and. Uh, Number five are both fully open, so three, four, five. So this one is uh, fully open, and so we're working on number eleven here. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like when one is kind of out of adjustment. You can see it's very easy to slide this in here. There's like no friction at all, so it's. It's, it's out of tolerance. Um, um, this will f actually fall out if I just leave it at its own devices. Okay, now that I've tightened down all of the nuts, I'm going to go back through and check with the feeler gauge. Um, so I'll start with the last two I did, and that was number, uh, let's see, number. Uh, 11 and 8, so number 11, that's good, 10, 9, 8, there we go, that feels good, it's hard to get to, okay, now we'll just uh, rotate the car, and then the next two we should be looking at is number 1 and number uh, Three to check number one and number three with number 10 and number 12 fully open so keep your eye on say number uh, 10 here and as I rotate or I push the vehicle forward that one should come up to the top there we go and it's coming up and you can see it's going back down so I went too far there we go right about there is at the top so number 10 and number 12 10 and 12 here are fully open and so I'll check number one and number three over here number one I'll 
it's hard to get to. Yep. Right through there, a little stickiness. It's good. And number three. Yep, number three. Let me check number one again. It's a little bit looser, but actually, I'm going to adjust that one to be a little bit tighter. Pretty good right there. Now I'll just hold that in place. And tighten that down. Make sure that it didn't come out. Good. And tighten it down. There we go. It's good. Okay, now the next ones should be uh, um, four and six. But keep an eye on number four and number six here. Number four and number six. We're going back down. Now they're coming up. And they're at the top. And going back down. And coming up and at the top. So right there, four and number six are at the top. And that means I'll check number seven and number nine. So, 12, 11, 10, nine. There we go. That one feels good. And eight, seven. Feels good. Eight and 11, so. 11's going down, 11's coming back up, and it's right at its top. So with 8 and 11, 11 fully closed, 10, 9, 8 fully closed, we will check, or fully open I should say, yeah 11 and 8 fully open, we'll check number 2 and number 5. Number two. Looks good. Three, four, five. That's pretty good. Maybe a little bit loose. I'll just give that one a quick adjustment. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we'll look for the next two to pop up. As I keep going forward. Number three is coming up. Number three, and look for number one. Also, be at the top. So number three is at the top, right? Mm, it's going down, coming up. At the top, coming back down, going up, and it's at the top. Okay, so with number three and number one. Fully open, I check number 10 and 12. So 10 over here. Good. 12. Good. Okay. 
And now the last two should be 79. Let's see. Yep, there comes number nine up. Nine's at the top. Nine's going back down. Nine's at the top right about there. So number seven and number t nine are fully open. So with those two fully open, I check number six and number four. One, two, three, four. That's pretty loose. Five, six. Mm, that's pretty loose too. So let me readjust those. Feels pretty good still. <clears throat> and now, check number four. Yep, it's a little loose. That's a little too tight. That feels pretty good right there. Good. Tighten it down all the way. There we go. And done. So I've checked them all, adjusted them, rechecked them, readjusted a couple, and now they're all perfect, perfectly within spec. And that's it. Now I just have to put it all back together. So what I'm going to do is there's a gasket here that goes on rocker cover gasket so I'm going to replace that All right, the uh, rocker cover gasket is a pretty cheap item it's uh, 3 or 4 pounds um, available <clears throat> from I'm sure a number of different uh, outlets so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it it looks like it's just um, some cork or some some type of uh, yeah cork material and so what you want to do is be careful carefully scrape off all the old stuff hopefully it it comes off but mine is not maybe the uh, previous owner put down some RTV or something to hold it in <clears throat> so it's not coming out very nicely so just get a really fine razor blade with a new blade on it and just uh, kind of scrape up the old uh, gasket material and uh, be careful not to damage the surface of The rocker cover because then obviously it won't make a nice seal. So I'm just going to go around the whole thing cleaning off this old gasket material. Okay, while you're in here, a good thing to check is all of the uh, rods. Make sure you don't have anything bent or loose, out of place. Um, just go through the whole thing. Just look at the all the rockers and everything. Give them a good scan and make sure that uh, everything's where it should be. Okay, the next thing uh, to do is uh, I've cleaned off. I'll show you the uh, cover that I've uh, scraped off all the old gasket. So. Okay, so I've come in here and I've removed all the old gasket and gotten it down to a nice... Uh, um, smooth surface so um, I'm still waiting on the gas to come in the mail so but I'll cover the steps to um, finish up the job so obviously 
putting uh, everything back together is a pretty simple process. Um, the cover goes back on all the uh, screws go back in there's eight of them um, actually there's seven of them sorry there's uh, four along the uh, exhaust and intake side and then there's three over here and then uh, just put back on all of the tubes that you took off so there's one here obviously and then the other one that you took off from the uh, the filler neck and then reconnect the throttle cable here with the nut that goes on the top of your pedal box and then that's it